Yeah, I'm positive that this isn't going to stop until you can't see a damn thing in the sky. None of this is natural. These chemical contrails spread out into that. Okay? In New York State, we're under constant siege from these scumbags. And they are scumbags. Okay, I do this in the hopes that other people would do it too. To let these parasites know that we're not as dumb as they think they've indoctrinated us to be. Okay, they have programmed us since kindergarten to instantaneously believe, memorize, and regurgitate everything we're told. And that's why you believe 90% of the stuff you believe that cannot be demonstrated in reality. There's so many things you believe that you cannot demonstrate. Oh God, I don't even want to get into it. Because you can't. You will have a system meltdown when you realize you've been deceived. That even the people telling you this horse manure have been deceived too. They're not lying to you. They honestly believe it. Like I did years ago when I would quiz people in my family and say, do you know what the earth is doing right now? To see if one of them would say, yeah, it's spinning. I honestly thought it was. I wasn't lying to anyone when I said the earth was spinning. I was indoctrinated to believe it was. It is not. The earth is stationary. It is the sky that rotates 15 degrees an hour like a clock. Not the earth. The earth in reality is the floor of our three-dimensional reality of physical matter. And the sky is the ceiling. You cannot demonstrate any level of pressure without a container. Now you think you're smart. What's the container made of? What's the firmament? I don't need to know what the firmament or container is made of to know with surety that you cannot have any level of pressure without a container. And that is a fact. A demonstrable fact. We see gas and oxygen blowing leaves and trees and bushes in all directions on the ground at sea level where they happen to say gravity is stronger. So if gas and oxygen blow in all directions like that tree in the background gas and oxygen is blowing those leaves in all directions and it's all going on where they say gravity has more influence at sea level on the ground they also tell us that gravity weakens the higher you go but somehow some way in a magical manner the gas and oxygen are pulled down in a singular vector downward manner where gravity is weaker. That's illogical, stupid. That's what you're being stupid when you instantaneously believe that. If gravity is stronger on the ground, yet gas and oxygen blow in all directions on the ground, how could it pull it down where it's weaker, way up in the sky? That's ridiculous. The gas and oxygen stay on whatever the Earth is, because of a container that I like to call the firmament. No, I do not know what the firmament is comprised of, and I don't have to. All I know is that you cannot demonstrate any measure, degree, or manner of pressure without a container to contain it in, because it will blow and disperse in all directions away from you. A container contains it. Now people say, well, why doesn't it keep dispersing until it, it, it evens out? Well, you cannot compare the system of the earth to a propane tank and men forcing gas into that tank to fill it. Because on the earth, the trees and water produce oxygen. 
and it's being consumed. It's not just all filling the earth continually. It's being consumed. Methane, uh, carbon dioxide, it's all being consumed simultaneously. Therefore, it does not equalize and fill out the vast container of the earth. Look at this shit. Look at that. You see how it's streaking horizontally? That's terrible. That's not natural. That is a sprayed down substance. <clears throat> that spreads out into what look like freaking puffs of cloud. But it's not. It's all man-made. See those wisps? All those wisps. That's man-made. That's not natural. They're spraying the skies and they admit it. And I, I'll put the link of Tucker Carlson pointing it out again. Of them wanting to cool off the earth, blocking the reflecting sunlight. Okay? And if whatever is beyond the skies of the earth, I believe it's water beyond the firmament. But it could never be an infinite and expanding vacuum. How can an expanding vacuum be inert? Like Wikipedia says, if it's expanding, it is not inert. Okay, it would expand right into your alleged atmospheres. Don't you understand that? Now, vacuums do suck. Now, when you use a suction cup and you put it against a glass window and you disperse or press all the air out of that suction cup, it sticks and sucks to the glass window. Now, the liars will say, oh, that's just the pressure pushing it against the window. No, it's not. You can hold a piece of toilet paper behind that suction cup and there is no pressure that's going to push that toilet paper against the suction cup. Don't you understand if outside pressure was pushing that suction cup against the glass pane, it would push the toilet paper too that you hang behind it. And why isn't pressure pushing everything against glass windows or walls? No, when you press a rubber suction cup up against a glass window, you push all the air out of it and it sucks itself to the window. When they show that goofy experiment, of a hard-boiled egg being sucked into a glass jar, they throw some a lit piece of paper on fire in the jar. That consumes the oxygen. The, uh, the fire eliminates the oxygen. And a vacuum is created in that jar, and it sucks the hard-boiled egg in. Now the knuckleheads will say, no, that's the outside pressure pushing it in. No, it's not. And I will do the demonstration. I've done it. I'm going to show. You can put a, a, hang a tile right over the hard-boiled hard egg. A tile, a tile, a piece of thin wood that would block any pressure from pushing the egg in. And you could put anything over that hard-boiled egg. And when that vacuum is created and burned away, the air that's within that jar, it sucks the hard-boiled egg in. <clears throat> And you can hold anything, even a piece of toilet paper, over the hard-boiled egg and that toilet paper will never move because there's nothing rushing past it to push that egg in. And it is ridiculous. It's redundant. They have to lie to you and tell you vacuums don't suck because how else are you going to believe that the earth is covered in gas and oxygen directly next to, surrounded by, and within an infinite in expanding vacuum universe 10 to the negative 17 tor trillion times more powerful than the puny vacuums we make on earth and we know what gas and oxygen do in the vicinity of the puny vacuums we make they fill it they instantaneously fill the available volume of the vacuum you understand me so whether it sucks or it's pushed the bottom line is the same it fills the vacuum but I know for a surety that vacuums do suck. And we are being sprayed like bugs. And I'm not a bug parasite person. Any of you scumbags looking at this video and censoring my channel, you scumbag degenerate, 
You're all degenerates, and you will answer for your crimes before the Almighty God. You will 